live. We're live. So guess what? We are here together. Wait, I'm cut off. I even, All I right, so we have to scoot over here closer to me. There we go. We're yeah. socially we have distanced, snuggle. even though we're not we're supposed to be socially distanced. I mean, we're socially together. I've been, I've been, I've been behaving fairly well. I mean, for I'm, the most part. I'm, I'm me too, but I okay. don't get in trouble with my kids. <laughs> hey, I see Apollo. Oh. Hi, baby. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go live on you. So entertain them while we're I'm we're in this. Hollywood. Um, Don't tell them exactly. Yeah, but uh, behind me is like you can <laughs> see the Hollywood sign. <gasps> so it's pretty cool, and it's gorgeous out. That we finally got good weather, so we can breathe. Yeah, we're actually Since breathing. We again. were we were not uh, not able to breathe very well. There we go. Oh, we're both on. Yeah. So we're, we're doing simultaneous broadcasts here. So I've got it on mine, Kara's got it on hers. It's because we have a birthday coming up. <gasps> yes, this is our birthday month. So happy birthday, happy birthday. girlfriend. Happy. So we haven't seen each other mm, since this, well, we have, hell um, both began. Yeah, well, we haven't been like in, no. she's in my pod, I'm in her pod. Don't get all excited. Right. We're not gonna, outside. We're not gonna swap spit or anything, we're good. All right, here we go, right now. Starting up. All right. So, what are you guys doing tonight? Tell us where you're from. Thank you. Happy birthday. Hi from Miami. Uh, you guys man. should all be here. We've got a beautiful patio up here and yeah. a pool and we're having some fun. Quick, quick. Some uh, what we call that music? Uh, what kind of music is that? Um, disco. It's kind of disco. It's like club music, you know. Yeah. So. So we're we're here to um, we might play a little game depends on how much wine we consume. Yeah, we're gonna and play games. Smile. But one, two, three, go. Right. Hey. Going live. But we would like. I don't know how many people can see up my dress. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, but nothing they haven't seen before. I gotta tell you. Well, no, they haven't seen that. No. <laughs> They're all, only only a few. Maybe one. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take a wild guess because you just said hello to someone. All right. So what's up with you guys? What questions you have? Where are you calling? Where are you seeing us from? Turn this a little bit. Okay. There we go. Yeah. I can't believe we got it all working here. And maybe bring it up a little closer so it's not looking up our skirts. <laughs> you, got that, you have to pay for that. Exactly. We're, we're, we're you want to see it? My, yeah. my only fans when you I do. need it. I bet you do. This is pretty cool. I have to say, this is really fun. I know. This is a good idea. Yeah. I was so Very excited good. when I had this little brain fart, you know, like, Maybe. all right. You're a little, you're huh? a coochie coo my Okay. Let's, let's try this. <laughs> there we go. It could be worse. I know. Oh, uh, someone's from I'll Brazil. I'll do the, I'll do the Sharon Stone cross the leg, slow no, yeah. movement, you know. Yeah. I like Sharon. Yeah, you too. I'd like to. Oh, I'd like to hang out with her. Connection is unstable. Please wait while we try connecting. Okay. Oh, shit. So, who's that milf next to you? Oh, I, I'd like to be called a cougar, if you will. <laughs> no, he is ask, They're asking on your. Phone. Oh, she's a cougar. Oh no. Is it, are we struggling down there? We're struggling down okay. here. I spoke too soon. So, great. So we got some. Your birthday's joining. in set. Oh, J Jesse, we are Libras with you. 17 days. Happy yeah. birthday. Happy so, birthday to Jessie. Uh, she's not singing. Uh, this thing is... I'll do that to you. Why isn't it working? Your connection is unstable. Uh oh Well, that's because I'm unstable. <laughs> I need to get it's stable. It's because your hot spot's unstable because you used it up today. I did. Bryson's on. Would Hi, you? Bryson. Bryson. What's up? Would you be my birthday date, ladies, sexy cougars? Yeah, sure, we are. We are here right now. We're your birthday date. Yep. So, I think so. This is I'm the, so, okay, there's October 5th. I'm the 26th. I'm the 24th. So, and we're all Libras over here. So, does that mean you're older than me? It means I'm, uh, uh, I don't think so. You got me by like a year. Oh. I like when I first met my boyfriend, I told him I was a year younger than I am. Did you really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why would you bother with just lying about a year? A year yeah. you know? Well, I think I always think that we should lie older if we're going to lie. Yeah, and we talked about this. Yeah. If we're going to lie, we're going to say we're like yeah. 80 and right. you and I look damn good for 80. Damn good. Yeah. Yeah, we 
we got it going for Haiti. <laughs> I just did a TikTok video yeah. where I talked about the Filipino people. I love Filipino people because they are so nice. Every one of them was so flattering. I was dancing away, and, and when I'm dancing away on, on uh, Instagram or on TikTok in, in, in the United States, I get a lot of year and old granny comments, you know? Mm. They don't do that. The Filipino people, they are respectful. They love to party. They like to just dance it up. I like that. Yeah. I like a, a respectful culture. Definitely. What do you guys think about that? Would you both blow a kiss? Happy birthday, Jesse. We're not going to sing for you. I'm not sure why this is not working either. Um, I could try to bust with it a minute, but I don't know. It doesn't seem to be. It's just too much. Too much it's drama. Too much, too much shit going on. Yeah. So, Paulo, if you're still there, do you want to do you want to join us for a minute? And say hi. I'd love to meet him. I'd love to introduce you and Karen. That's can't where, tell if he's still there. Yeah. Where is? Uh, where are you guys? Where are you all calling from? In a minute, I'm going to put TikTok on and look for So my Instagram is Exotic Lifestyle Events. And you want to tell them why? Why is it Exotic Lifestyle Events? Yeah. Well, because I am a sex doctor and I create retreats for people in exotic places when we can go back again. Um, and there's one coming up in June. In June. Yeah. Just around the corner. And I'm I'm trying to get one um, for February, okay, and maybe March or April because I'm going to have a backlog of need, you know, okay. to go. To I, go I I would love to go with to you. exotic places. Yes, Just the two it's of so, us. We would have <laughs> such a good time. We'd be getting big trouble. Over yeah. There. Has anybody well, been to um, any kind of exotica like place? So any in time exotic. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm going to close it up. It doesn't look like it's working. Okay. And it's just distracting me. All right. All right. We can't have that. Well, we, let's... We can't be distracted. I have to pay attention. Yeah, because you keep going out of the screen here for my, yeah. for my right. guys. I'm closing this. Closing it up. Sorry, people on YouTube. We'll okay. have to do that another time. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Here's the lipstick on your dipstick. <laughs> What happens with half a sip of wine? Yeah. Oh, what is going on? Oh no! Oh no! Well, you got one dot. I know. It's like the connection's kind of sucking up here. Now you've got a lot of bars. Oh, I got three, and it says reconnecting. That's not good. I wonder why. That's well, I'm happening. not sure how long we'll be able to hang out here with y'all. But <laughs> it was fun anyway. Wow. Well, yes. We're we're trying to be creative. I'm gonna redo it again. Oh, there was Apollo. Okay. Hey! How you doing? Wow. What's what, up? What are you doing, love? Uh, I'm entertaining right now. That's what I was missing out. I'm like, we got football tonight. Oh, fun! Who's playing? Football. Uh, the Chiefs. I mean, not the Chiefs. Uh, Cincinnati Bengals and the Browns. Oh, I heard about I was, this game. I, I was sorry to hear about Sunday. What? The Bears won. No oh, Bears. The, yeah. <laughs> the Bears. Yeah. They they did they pulled it off. We pulled it off in the last quarter. They, they did pretty good. That was, this, this we we die hard forty niners. Oh. We had a stu we had a stupid loss. I couldn't believe it, but uh, you know, let, I'm, I'm hoping we, we just we played a uh, it was division game against the Cardinals. Arizona Arizona Cardinals. So you know, yeah, I'm I'm hoping we got you know the 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 jitters out. And we uh, start off strong. I mean, well, you know, continue strong. Because again, well, yeah. I am because I was born in San Francisco. I, yeah. I have to be. I, I'm just <laughs> diehard here. Plus, I have a, I have a really nice 49ers tank top. <laughs> yes, you do. You, you got this. Is you, you probably didn't put it on last time. You can't switch teams. <laughs> what was that? I said you need to put it on Sunday. Some bring some luck. I will. Well, Most other I don't know. How are you? Good to see your face. I'm good. Likewise, likewise. Oh my God. Um, later, I, I definitely got a question for you. It's uh, it's, a, it's right up your alley. So a friend of mine, 
her daughter likes to have uh she's only about six. She likes to have a little time to herself. And you know, we, we talked about that uh before in the classes, um of how they are little humans and so they do feel, you know. And so she the mom doesn't know how to handle the fact that, you know, her daughter wants a little alone time, goes in the room. She says she caught a hump in a pillow. And uh, she doesn't know how to handle it. And so I definitely told him that I would reach out. Reach out. Because just she's tell lost. Her leave her alone. Yeah, just tell her to leave her alone. I told her. I said, I, 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 so that was good. I gave her a good advice. Yeah. I like, let her have the alone time. But she said she gets really frustrated, like, with people if they don't let her get the alone time. And it's like, she said, two hours sometimes. Just two hours. Wow. Yeah, in the room. Well, and how old yeah. is she? Six. Six. I mean, it might. I would like to talk to her because I mean, I always wonder about a, somebody that's needing that much time if they've been sexualized maybe by someone else. Good point. So right. that would probably need to be evaluated carefully by a professional. Yeah. And you would be able to do that. Would I? I be able to set set you up? Um, yeah. For a consultation. Yeah, I would definitely be able to talk to her and kind of guide her about how to find a pediatrician to just gently broach the subject with and make sure because you know, I mean, it's most most six year olds don't have a two hour attention span for anything. So yeah. So that, that's like she's a uh, getting frustrated. So, Else going on. Okay, so definitely, uh, we'll connect um, today or tomorrow, and I'm definitely going to pass the information. However, you want to do it, email or I can connect you guys on the phone. Yeah, either either way. You. you Thank you so I much. You. No, I'll Thanks, find guys. you. I figured out the power. <laughs> 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 We're back on. All right, so look. I'm I'm uh I'm entertaining though, so I gotta keep it short. Nice to meet you. Okay. Likewise, I heard a lot of good things. And we I know. Get her to Hito with us I want to go to Hito. I think that you should definitely go. It's a, a life changing experience. Well, yeah. This one here is worth it in her, just by herself. So I don't care whatever. If she's there, I'm there. All right. Listen, we we share her. We got her in common right now. We are both two lucky people. She's an amazing woman. All right, well, have a fun night. Thanks for piping in with us. No doubt, no doubt. Let's see you. It was nice <laughs> meeting you. Nice Definitely. Meeting you. Okay. Yeah, well, I'll All right, heat talk up. to you. Bye, my love. Definitely. All right, we're going to like, let, let's have Henry come on. Henry, if, you, if you're not respectful, I'm not going to be happy. Okay. All right, we're letting Henry come on. All right. I mean, this, maybe is, this is risky. Is Henry? I don't know. Do you know Henry? All right, we're not doing Henry. I don't know Henry. Oh, I'll see cuckoos for my daddy. Oh. oh. Hi, hi, cuckoo. I don't know what cuckoo means, but I, I think it's my dad. All right, so you guys, what happened was that somehow my internet was shitty. So we're going to make up for lost time by playing Drunk, Stone, and Stupid. Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's go. Sorry, we let's had a little te technical difficulty. Well, I love you, Karen. I love you, Frank, Frank, Frank James. Frank James. Salute us. Desta Peru. Is Peru Spanish or Portuguese? Spanish. Hola, como estas? Luis. <laughs> My Espanol is muy bueno. Can't you tell? Yeah. Quito. Quito <laughs> from Peru. I always wanted to go to Machu Picchu just to say I went to Machu Picchu. You would probably climb the damn thing. Kara and Mark climbed it. Yeah. Why am I not surprised yeah. about that one? All right. This, this is a good question. Which one it? of us would wait for in a three-hour line for a new iPhone? Oh, that would be me. Nope. I'll take that new iPhone. I, I, I wouldn't I'll, wait three hours in line for anything. I, to go to Hito, you would. That's it. Well, yeah. Just to yeah. go. I mean, cheers to Hito. Cheers to Hito. Cheers to Hito. To Hito. And can I go to Hito and then go to St. Lucia to see my other friend Nancy? Too? Sure. So we got a little iPhone. Yeah, pack. I mean, as long as you're in the Caribbean, you might as well go. You might as well come with. Well, okay. We could do that. You guys, I'm so, can you tell I'm so we want to get out? Jones in to travel? <laughs> oh, my God. She's Jones in. She oh. looks, you look sexy in that dress. Ooh, well, thank you. 
All right, so the next question there is, and if you guys want to join in with our games, please don't hesitate to join in with us. All right. Is obsessed with how they look in photos. Uh, I think we went through this, didn't we? I'm not yeah. really obsessed. I, I like pretty much, but I do like to, uh, what's that called? Insta beauty, it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I only do that, like, if, if it's a really bad picture. Yeah, if it's bad, then I go, you know? ah, ah, ah. But if, right. it, if it just shows how I see myself, nah. <laughs> <then> Yeah. <laughs> There's a trick there. There's a trick. It's yeah. Gotta, it's got to be good. I, that's what I said. It's got to be. It's got to be how I. When I look in the mirror, this is what I see on a good day. You right. Know? On a good day. Yeah. With a lot of sleep. Well, yeah. I mean, there are some days you look in the mirror and go, "Holy shit, who is that old girl?" Oh. But I'll tap it in. Who is that? That was my husband saying, "I'll tap it in." So we're getting a lot of joiners here. All right. This is what we got here. Still believes in Santa. I, I never believed in Santa, but he probably did. So I in. did. I totally did. You did. still believe in Santa? No. Cause, no. no. She doesn't believe in Santa anymore? No. Sorry. Don't, no. don't. Not once I had children. Okay. <laughs> well, not once you became the tooth fairy. I still have not admitted to my youngest son that I was a tooth fairy. Really? But don't let him know, you guys. Don't yeah. let him know. I was a tooth oh, fairy. he's not watching this. Let's travel to Dubai. Dubai. I would never go to Dubai. Why? Because they hate women there. They're so disrespectful to women. Well, then why the fuck would anybody go there? Yeah. All right. Yeah. What's today? It's a craft beer snob. It's not me. If it's wine, maybe, but not beer. Yeah, I know. All right. Would you wear a thong or panties? I usually wear a thong. You lie. You don't even wear underwear. Well, I have them on today. Okay. Because I knew my crotch would be on TV, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, probably owns a sex toy. Well, I would say we both have to do I, drink to that I think one. we both have to drink yeah. to that because yeah. probably is a reality. Right. We probably have like a trunk full of them. Yeah. We just got another one. It's like ginormous. Like a two-person one? It's called the intensive, intensive, intensity, yes. intensify, or something like intensify. And I guess it's like two full. It's like Kegels with a kick. So it like... Does it shock you? I think it, 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 it could if you don't do it right. But I mean, you gotta read the instructions, which I didn't do the first time. So I pulled it out while it was going and it was like, whoa! Huh. Uh, yeah. So, all right. So you'll have to hook me up with your vendor. Okay. <laughs> I think you like this thing. I think you well, like it. He likes our voice, but he doesn't understand English. Yeah. Well, that's not gonna work. We have people wanting to be on the live stream. Sex crazed women. Oh. I mean, I think we're just normal sex, yeah, on sex course, he, sexual human beings. We just beings. know how to let the sex yeah. out. Most women our age need, need help with that. And we're going to help them because they need to lighten up a little. Yeah. I wonder why if somebody, um, if, if a man is sexual, they just call him a, a regular a man. man, a healthy man. But if a woman's sex, sexual, they call her sex crazed crazed or yeah, a I nymph or something like that. I think we're all like sex that. crazed. Actually, maybe we're not sex crazed. Maybe we're just normal. Yeah, well, I think if we're healthy. Sometimes in my life I'm sex crazed, and sometimes in my life I'm not that sex crazed. If we're healthy and we're happy, we're probably horny. Right? If you're healthy and you're happy, then you're horny. (laughs) If you're healthy and you're happy, then you're horny. Yeah, and And this is sex. You're horny and you get some, and then you're super happy and and you're you're horny. horny. Don't you find that the more yeah. good sex you get, the more you want? I think that's what it is, especially with exercise, too. Like the more you exercise, the more you want to keep exercising. It's kind of like yeah. a, a compulsive type of thing. Yeah. The more you so, do yoga, the more... Oh, here we go. Well, what do we do? All right, I'm putting on my shades. Oh, this future is so bright. There we go. Oh, I want my All right. I got my hand. Yeah. Hooks up with a mom. Not enough horny women around. Well, I know. I'm sorry that... You know why? Because they've been so shamed. So stop shaming them. Right. And maybe they will let their horny fly free. Right. Let the freak fly fly. Yes. What city are they in? We're in Los Angeles. Where are you guys? Let's take some let, let's take some listener questions. Okay. What's All up right. guys? You guys got a question for us and just make it semi respectable, like uh, the panty thing that was bordering on disrespectful. You know, stuff that you wouldn't walk up to your mom's friend and ask, don't ask us. I, I, you know, I had this conversation with somebody the other day. 
who was asking me really personal questions in a, in a DM, somebody I don't know, never had a conversation with. And I said, if you met me at Starbucks, would you be asking me these questions? It's a good, it's and, good and he said, well, maybe. And I said, well, under what circumstances would you be comfortable asking me those questions? And then he kind of had to backpedal. And I said, listen, this is social media, which means it's like Starbucks in a box, you know, in, in a bigger form. You don't know me. I don't know you. What the hell makes you think I'm going to answer those kind of personal questions? Exactly. Do you think I should develop edge? Oh, Bryson wants to know that. Um, edging. Do, do you think you should edge? If you want to edge. Oh, I think it's a, I think it well, it makes, good. it makes your pleasure so much more. Yeah. So why wouldn't you? Try it. Try yeah. it. You like it. Yeah. You got nothing to lose. Yeah, what are the major turnoffs for cougars when approached by young guys in their mid twenties? Stupid questions. <laughs> stupid questions. But that's not a stupid question. I don't know. No, no. People oh. coming up and asking stupid questions, you know, like, you know, how old are you? Or are, are, are your you... tits fake? Those right. kind of questions. Right. Inappropriate questions. Right, inappropriate questions. Or just, you know, um I, I think the main thing is if if you're with someone whether they're young or old or whatever, and all they do is talk about themselves a turn off to me. I don't like that. I like someone who's inquisitive and curious about me. Right. Because it, it is all about me. <laughs> well, it has to be a mutual curiosity, right? Exactly. You, you know, and I think learning how to have a conversation is really important. You know, nobody wants to hear somebody just talk about themselves for a night. No. And so, and I don't want to talk about only myself for a night. So, if, it, if the conversation goes back and forth, you ask questions, you kind of get to know each other, you find right. out what what makes what makes your boat float, you know, what what right. what wakes you up in the middle of the night, what keeps you going during the day. But I want to tell Coleman Lewis that another thing that I think guys don't get is pickup artists tell you, you know, be macho and, you know, uh, try negging and all that kind of stuff. Don't do that. Pickup artists do not give good advice. No. They're not women. They don't know what women want. No. Pickup artists are only thinking, how can I get money off of these guys, you know, that don't know what they're doing, so I'm going to teach them like I know what I'm talking about. But they don't. They, they really are, in fact, teaching you negative things, okay? They teach you really disrespectful you. things. Yeah, right, because they're just using you. Right. are using you for the money and they think that, you know, uh, walk around peacocking and all that kind of shit. It doesn't work. So what uh, turnoffs are people that are not genuine. Be yourself. Don't act like, you know, like if you're trying to pick someone up, don't act like you're going to be taking them out to like, the, you know, fancy restaurants and shit like that. If you don't have the money, be yourself and just say, hey, I'm working right now. I'm struggling, but I'm going to make something of myself one day and, you know, just be real. Be real. You got any other words of wisdom here? Paula said edging is awesome. Who said? Someone said that edging is awesome. Yeah, it is. It's uh, good. Do cougars good lose stuff. interest in younger guys quickly after the sexual pleasure is met? I don't think there's a general rule of thumb for that. I think if, if you have good sex, no matter how old you are and what the age gap is, it doesn't matter. You know, it's just sex is sex. So you might continue that practice for years or you might say I've had enough of this guy it's time to move on to someone else well and I think if, if it's good sex and you've got some kind of a connection yeah intellectual emotional spiritual some chemistry of some whatever sort. You, you like the person you want to spend time with them I think it just builds a great relationship yeah I think that's what it is I always yeah. think of everybody in this world is connected yeah I'm more connected with you guys or girls or whoever's on this thing just because of this live stream we are now connected so, no one, like, owns the other person, and, and I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that your sex with whoever you're having sex with will only go on as long as both the parties want it to go on, right? Right. So, um, happy birthday. Steven. So, ladies love Steven. So, last week, happy birthday. Happy birthday to 34. You. 34. What were you doing at 34? Well, let's see. At 34... I, I was working for a videographer. I had, I had two of my three kids. I, uh, let's see, I was married. Uh, what else? Traveled a lot. Had a lot of fun. Got fucked up on the weekends. What'd you do? I was 
single, but with someone. I mean, we were we were we'd been together for a long time. We, we weren't married though, still living right. separately. Right. Um, I was running an out, out, my own outpatient diabetes center, so I was a diabetes nurse specialist. Okay. And you know, just a working single mom for the most part. Were you having fun? Oh yeah, yeah. But I would have. I was. You would have I didn't. I didn't have to be working. Well, hard. I didn't know that I was that I was prepping for the best part of my life to come. Ah, so, you know, I, I think, like that. I like that. Yeah. I, I if I if I, if I could talk to her today, I would say, hang in there, baby, because it's only gonna get better, and yeah, things are gonna you're gonna your life's gonna blow up in such great ways, and just you know, do get the work done, get your kids raised, do that, because then it's gonna even just go yeah. crazy good I mean yeah. yeah that's what I would tell myself too just like hang in there but I didn't really like I've never had a period of my life really that I felt like I'm just can't get out of bed you know I'm just that miserable except for when my husband was killed that damn oh, that yeah. period of time wasn't, it wasn't a great period of my life but I'm saying other than that aspect um, I think everything is doable I mean yeah. we can get through anything just you know reach out to people and have them help you. Don't be afraid if you're in a bad situation to get some help. Whether it's like a friend, family member, therapist, whoever it is, get some help. Yeah. And I think the hard thing to remember when you're going through something like that is whatever you're going through is temporary. But that also applies to the great stuff too. So you want to make sure you're really appreciating it and enjoying it and taking advantage of all the yummy things that are in your life when they're there. Yeah. They're not going to be there forever. Yes. yes. Yeah. Appreciate when you, you know, whatever age you're at. Definitely, there are definitely good things about being our age, but there's definitely good things about being 28. Yeah, <laughs> I can't. Hey, I, Brady. I honestly can't think of an age I'd want to go back to. Well, because we did it already. Yeah. I mean, I, I I wouldn't mind if I knew what I knew today going back to those days, maybe. But I don't know. You're right. I mean, yeah. it's just you know. I like my life a lot right now. You got a pretty damn good life. I had a good life too. You know what? We're blessed. We're all blessed. You know, everybody in their own way is blessed. Uh, so, so Even in the midst of all this. Yeah, shit I know happened. people that are complaining constantly. Oh, I'm so depressed about the pandemic. What are you so depressed about? Like, this is a time to like regroup, enjoy your life, just chill out. Just don't feel the need to just constantly grind. It's like the global reset button. It is a global reset. You know, and you like, know what? It's it, not a bad thing to have. It's like it's like we get the what what is it called on your computer when you reboot? Yeah. So it's like the global we're reboot. Re we're rebooting right now. We and are you totally know what? rebooting. It's worked out yeah. pretty good. I mean, yeah. at first it was like, what? I do miss the ability to hop on a plane and go see my friends and family. That Absolutely. is very frustrating to me, and yeah. it's also very anxiety provoking because I don't know how long. Right. Um. You know, I'll have to be waiting and to see my mom, for example, who's older. Yeah. So that's tough. That is tough. Yeah. And it's a hard decision to weigh back and forth, but I think I have to weigh my own mental health because I think I'd have an anxiety attack if I got on an airplane, so I right? don't think I could do it. I, I just can't. And not yet. What about you guys? What do you think about uh, traveling right now? What are some general principles that cougars who are interested in guys in their late 20s live by? Uh, Coleman Lewis, or Lewis Coleman. I have a book called Buff Games, Day Cougars. Everything that we're talking about here or over the last 12, I don't know how many years I've been doing the YouTube channel. It's in my book. It's in the book. It's in the book. Read it's, the book. It's much easier to read the and book. And it'll answer questions you don't even know you have yet. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> games. Not the truth. It's, a, it's Buck with a F star C K. Buck games, Day Cougars. It's in the book. It'll answer all these questions. So, except what color bra do you both have on? I don't have one on yet. <laughs> Black. black. I got a black bra. Let me let me look for you. Let me look. No, but you you just tease. You gotta, she's a tease. She's got, she got a black She's bra. a fucking tease. <laughs> it's, it's, do you want to see mine? Yeah, I do. Oh, she, she's such a tease. <laughs> she's like she, she just said I don't have a bra, but you want to see mine? This is what it happens with a half a glass of wine. Can you imagine when we drink the finish, when we finish the bottle? Or if we have tequila, oh, which tequila. we will have to do when we travel together. Oh, tequila is one tequila, two, two tequila, three tequila, four. four. <laughs> well, let's stop at three. All right, that's well, usually when we get naked. We just said, oh, yeah. no, I said taking my thong off after at least three. I mean, the thing with tequila is if you're with tequila, you have to both 
everyone has to be drinking tequila. Because well, if one person is not, they won't remember every stupid thing you did when you were. Oh, believe me, where we're going, everybody will be drinking, drinking tequila. tequila. If yeah. they're not, you're going to have peer and pressure. From at Exotic Lifestyle Retreat, we have a tequila night. I and, like that. And we bring all kinds of different tequilas. So I have um, Cafe Patron. I do the, um, the Patron that's uh, that's hot and spicy. Mm. So well, I um, love that. That's so, a great margarita. So we do all these in silver and gold. I mean, we do all these. It's like a Patron party. And oh, my I God. I can see why you long for this place. I do. Because you're accepted there, no matter who you are. No matter. Yeah. 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 Doesn't matter. I do like Don Julio. You're Doesn't, right, Jesse. Oh, Don Julio. Good. They have Don Julio at Hito. And so. what's the other one that 1800? Oh, there's a there's a billboard over here. Oh yeah. I see that. 1800. Yeah. Oh no, look yeah. behind you here. There's another tequila there. Oh. There's a lot one? of tequila. Yeah. That one's called Escalon. Well, every movie star here only has a tequila. Oh yeah. You yeah. know. Maybe that, one day we're gonna have tequila. I think we should. We can call it. Roar. Roar, 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 roar tequila. There is a, a, a cougar wine. Oh, Brady, I've been reading information from Kim and Nani about three hour sex dates. Is that possible? Yes. I said a five hour one recently. So. <laughs> <laughs> that answers that question. Yes, yes. it's possible. I remember yes. one time this I was with the guy. He's like, What are you, a marathon? And I'm like, No, I just, you know. Why are you going to sleep? Karen's friend should follow me on Instagram as L O L. Well, maybe follow, maybe Karen's friend will. Follow me first. <laughs> follow her on exotic lifestyle events. Send me a note and remind me. Right. Brady's dying over the five hour here. All right, so if you guys have any five hour marathons that you want to talk about, you have a five hour on how? Right now. Of course. Creativity. I... Let me just say that. Creativity. Yeah, creativity and uh, just, uh, you know what, it's not just you're having sex for five hours straight. It's, or maybe you are, no, you, you probably are, Well, um, because she's kind of a phenom. But, but I, it's also like talking, yes. goofing around, playing, yes. taking showers, it's not, relaxing. It's not, it's not this for five hours. Yes. Yeah, no, nobody's going to do nobody wants that, that for five hours. Five hours. Yeah. That, you're going to, you know, you're going to wear out both of you. But Porn there's, stars don't want to do but that there's five so hours. many other ways to have sex than PV sex or putting a penis in a hole. You know? Or just having well, there's fun. there's lots of holes. I remember I, I literally had fun going in my backyard looking for cicadas with this guy. That was part of, like, our foreplay. There we go. You know? Whatever whatever blows your skirt up. That would... <laughs> <laughs> she didn't mention any kind of... Like drugs that she took before she got here. I don't do drugs. She doesn't do drugs. This is just her. I don't do drugs. Would you ever both make out for two hours for a million dollars? Yes. Like to, with each other? With each other? And we, during COVID or not COVID? <laughs> <laughs> and by it's the way, to do that with I would make out for a lot less than a million dollars. Okay? <laughs> I did. I did have a, when I was married, a guy approached me in a pool in Las Vegas, and I know that he really did have the money said, would you have sex with me for a million dollars? It was right around the time that Indecent Proposal oh, came yeah. out. That I said, brought a, that, I said that no. A lot of good conversation. I said no. Really? And I tell my husband, he goes, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Karen Green's from Germany. Um, uh, Wie is a Ich liebe dich. That's about all I know. It sounds like you're talking about a Lieber dick again. No, it's not a Lieber dick. Or that's, I it's love like, you. Ich liebe dich. Ich liebe dich. Sounds like it's not, about like in German is not romantic, but they're kind of kinky. They're kind of really freaky in Germany. Is that right? Um, who is this? Yeah. Uh, Tom, will you tell us about the German sex scene yeah. over there? I would make out with Dr. Nan for uh, 100000 LOL. <laughs> 100000 you'd make out? Who's paying who? Yeah, you mean you'd pay me? You, Brady, you got about $100,000 to pay her to make out? I'm, I'm, I'm physically insulted right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I would have done it for 50 grand. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, indecent proposal. That that I think that stimulated more conversations with couples as, mu as yeah. much as like um, 50, 50 Shades, shades of Grey. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys read 50 Shades of Grey? Karen, your friend is beautiful. Thank you. I agree. She is a beauty inside and out. I'm a pistol. She's a pistol. Did you hear this? When? And did you both cross the threshold of being a cougar? I think anybody that's confident, older, unique, genuine, assertive, and racy is a cougar. So you could cross that line at 30. Yeah. You have to have a couple years under your belt. You can't be under 25. That's, yeah. that's not going to happen because your brain isn't even formed until you're at least 25. They're saying 28 now. 
I heard that. Yeah. Who just told me that recently? You? I don't know. But yeah, I mean, it's yeah. Somebody they, just told me that. We're, we're delaying. We're delaying our children maturing. You know, because we're because of the helicopter parent thing. Is that what that is? I think so. You wait. Oh, I guess we wait. When did you fall? Oh, then we already did that one. I'm sorry if we missed a bunch. If we missed you. Eyes Wide Shut, Polly. That, that was oh. a, You know, I love that movie it until was... it got too complicated with the, the couple. But the, the scene. In I the, like that kind of. Oh, that scene in the castle. Her, yeah, they're all the, wearing the dark robes Jeez. and shit like that. I, I went to a, a couple of things oh, like that. Oh, why am I not surprised? Yeah. And, and what happened? So erotic. Oh, dear God. So erotic. Wait, was this yeah. in Tahito? No. I, it was in San Francisco, and there was a. There, it, I was Not invited, a very kinky place. By I was the invited way. to a party, and it was on an old ship that was um, docked at the Embarcadero, and so it was an invite only, and we we wore like really sexy, sexy things. So I wore like a. a I heard about this. A place. burnt out velvet dress that was see through, <laughs> and so, but when you when you. When you came, arrived at the dock, why? Yes, please. You had to um, s- slip into the door of a limousine because the limousine was parked between you and the gangplank or the the, the yes, the, whatever the plank, not the gangplank. But yeah, the, the gangplank sounds like Peter yeah, Pan or something. To, to get on the boat, and so they they so you had to slip in. They had to check your ID. Were you alone or with a friend? Oh, girlfriend. Oh. So. Then, so then we had to have our IDs checked and everything, and then we'd slip out the other side and go onto the boat. And there was every erotic scene you want to see. I mean, from BDSM, a woman tied in, in uh, I heard about this. I heard about this place, and then there's, there's a place that they do bukkake. Yeah, but th- this this had none. Of, this didn't have the sexual stuff. It was more just the eroticism. Ah. The sexual stuff you could be invited to later, but this was like a tease. Teaser, but oh dear God, it was erotic. Did you hear this? Yeah. Is I, anybody, I mean, I, what's the wildest thing you've ever done sexually? I use that, and I don't. Mama, don't ask that questions. Uh, Karen, you see, you visit hedonism. I have to give Dr. Nan an extra fifty thousand. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but Brady, you better be getting it. Basic second, instinct. Second, too, get your second good, job. Yeah. This is going to be costing you a lot of money. <laughs> Can you make out for us? No, I don't remember saying that this is an OnlyFans page. You're getting this for nothing, right? So you're getting you get nothing. <laughs> and actually, there's you no... Get you get what you, you pay get for. You get what you pay for, and in this situation, it is nada. How are you, hotties? Where are you, inked star Miami? I guess you're from Miami. Good evening there, David Bowman. Um, anyway, let's play another card game, shall okay. we? All right. Well... Make out with absolutely anyone. No. No. I'm very picky about I who mean, I like oh. to put my lips on. I think I'd rather, what would you rather do? Give a blowjob to a stranger or fuck a stranger? Fuck. Fuck. Me too. Yeah. It's so much more intimate to make a blowjob. Yeah, blow, blow jobs. Why are blowjobs less money than when, if you're a working woman? Did you know that? Is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, not mine. Am they I right? would be very expensive. They would I be, know. They would be very expensive. <laughs> I know. It would have to cost you a fucking lot. Yeah. Uh, it has old person tendencies. Ah, that would be neither. No. No, I don't wear hats. Breaks into, <laughs> breaks into own house. And that would be you probably. Ah, uh, yeah, I've done that. My thing is, I think How drunk would so you have to be to get to do this in your bra? And, you know, we're always in control no matter what, yeah. all right? I don't know what would happen if I went to eat on and I started drinking a fucking tequila, but... But you'd still be in control. I'd still be in the, enough yeah. control. I've never gotten that. I mean, because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just not able to do that. Have you ever blacked out? No. Me neither. And I, I think that's, I think that's the, the trick is, well, number one, I can't. Well, maybe when I was a kid and I don't remember that. I can't. I, I don't remember if I blacked out because I blacked out. I can't, I can't drink, I can't drink that much because I'll get sick first. So, yeah. yeah. So, you got to drink like, a lot of water. Yeah. You can Speaking of water. <laughs> Here's, cheers to Cheers. That. Can you tell them that we're sisters from different parents? <laughs> Electric break. Brazism said you two are incredible. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank, Thank you. you. 
I don't know what's happening with my phone. Looks like it died. It died. Like no, it, it didn't die. It's not doing anything. I can't get it to move. Let's see. Maybe if I. Oh, there we go. But do, do you see it? Got, it went faded. So. I saw it faded. You guys, he's actively preparing for the end of the world. Now that's my daughter. Can though. I? Can I plug it in? Sure. Let's see if this will work. Yeah. Cause you're charged. I'm charged up. I'm, I'm, I'm charged. Going up my nose. Here with the thing. So let's see if that'll help. Looks like you had a little damage to your screen over here. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Dropped it one too many times. Well, I think I think that's just the outer screen. So. Oh, okay. All right. So there we go. All right. Uh, we look okay. amazing. I'm so happy that you two got to meet up tonight. Aww. Oh, us too. Oh, us so too. Cheers. I was so excited about this. So I'm, I was driving down to L.A. on Saturday, and I thought, oh, I'm going to be in L.A. I'm going to tell Karen we're going to do this today. We're doing it. it did, and it took a lot of persuading. It had, like, really twist my arm. <laughs> well, I think the thing we were worried about is that the air quality here has been so crappy that we it's would be, been, it's been the we'd have to wear our gas masks. <laughs> yeah, and I don't have one to wear. But no. I, and it's enough of wearing the other masks. Yes, Polly, I do remember Basic Instinct very well. well and what I, is your I, most famous uh, ride? Favorite? I've, what I've, about Nine and a Half Weeks? Oh, I love that movie. Love, love, love that movie. That was like one of my first favorites. I got to tell you right now, Peaky Blinders, very hot sex scenes. Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders. Uh, I have to write that down. It's, a, it's in England, Peaky Blinders. Mm. Anybody watching Peaky Blinders right now, it is fucking smoking hot. I saw I saw Frost said that about us, but that that <laughs> that's got some good sex scenes in there. Somebody Mickey ever, Mickey Rourke was hot in Nine and a Half Weeks, and then he had facial surgery and he shouldn't have done that. I don't know what yeah. the hell's going on with that. This, yeah. uh, have you seen Three Hundred Sixty Five Days? One of my friends called me up no, from Chicago. No, is that good? She has. So she, I thought it was kind of like nothing compared to like porn, so, but she doesn't watch porn, so she was like all over this. She said it's very hot. There's a scene apparently on a boat that I'm supposed to be looking at. Ooh. Yeah. And he wearing a super mask nice, won't wear it anyway. Would you ever date a young YouTuber star? Well, maybe that's not like really dating right now, yeah. so I don't know about dating. What uh when you say would I fuck a YouTuber star? <laughs> oh hot is he? No, just kidding. <laughs> Agree the ladies are smoking hot. Thank you, Red December. Love the ice cube scene. Oh, have you ever done the ice cubes? I've done the ice cubes. The ice cubes are fun, yeah. Ice cubes can be fun. Yeah. Switch it up. Have you ever done the Altoids? No. Oh. What do you do with an Altoid? You guys, tell her what you do with an Altoid. Basically, it's like, it, it's good. You can okay. do a blowjob with an Altoid. Okay. All right, just try it. All right. How about Pop Rockets? No. Does Pop Rockets? Does I pop, think pop we rocks? should try that. Pop Rockets. <laughs> pop Rockets. Is it Pop Rocks? Is that how Pop what? Rockets? Is it Rockets or rock? Rocks? Rocks. Pop oh. Rocks. <laughs> in there with the pop rocks and rocks. Yeah, Whoa. Now, we had a guy named Mr. Bean. I don't think he's on right now, but he was talking about putting <laughs> pop rocks in his anus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that could be exciting. <laughs> uh, so we have somebody from Indonesia. Online. I would like to date a younger Does this man. look really faded to you, or is it just my eyes? That happens. I don't know why that does happen. It's just, yeah, it's charging, though. I don't know. Okay. I think we should try and go to TikTok. Are you both barefoot? <laughs> That's Brian. Nope. Got sandals on. Uh, uh, well, I was wearing, uh, we're having some connecting issues. Could I choose what color underwear you both wear tomorrow? No. No? Why would we let you choose such a thing? For all I know, she's not going to wear underwear altogether. Probably so not. to commit yeah. to you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Can't commit. <laughs> wow. So... So back to nine and a half weeks. Oh yes, please so, do tell. Why you know, did you like this so much? Well, I have a story about it because the guy that made it, Zalman King, he's the one that wrote and directed it. He and his wife wrote it actually. And Zalman King was known in Hollywood as the king of erotica. Ah. And he also did Wild Orchid, 
uh -huh. and Red Shoe Diaries. I did not see that. Okay, those are it was a series with okay. David Duchovny. I love David Duchovny. Yeah, so walking love David Duchovny. Yeah, Duchovny's so you'll have you'll have to check out all the the Red Shoe Diaries. Now that I heard they this, were, for sure. They were just kind of ero erotically inclined stories, but when I did my film festival in 2012, all oh, right, um, we. For those the, of you who don't know, she had an erotic film festival. Yes. So I was the creator, and I had just wild hair up my butt. I decided I was going to do a film festival. So I created a film not? festival. Doesn't have anyone? Yeah. And the first, we, we put out, I, I, I hired a person, partnered with a person that is a film, filmmaker and had done film festivals, so I knew what I wanted, and he knew how to get it. First call we had was from Zalman King. No way. Were you freaking? Zalman King here. I understand that there's a woman creating a film festival for women and the men who adore them. Well, wow. my tagline has been erotica for women and the men who love them. So I wow. haven't, he hadn't done a film for 10 years and he had this his, is a crazy story. He had his film in editing and he said, I want, I want to submit my film and I'd like you to come to my a studio in, in Burbank and oh my come God. to the editing room and see what we've got and see if it's something that you want for your for your um, film festival. And did you go? Yes. We oh, went. Yes, you went. <laughs> I even wore red shoes. Oh, so I wore I wore red high heels. And so I walked did in. Did you have sex with Zalman? No. <laughs> but but I walked what in. What did he look like? Well, actually, I didn't get to meet Zalman. I met his oh. par partner because Zalman, had, I didn't know at the time, was dying of colon cancer. Oh. And so, but Zelman called us, he, his partner, David, um, I met with David and he, David goes, nice shoes. <laughs> you know? So it's like, he at least got it. So anyway, so they, we played their film. Um, it's, it, they, they changed the name. It's, um, Zelman Kings. It was pleasure and pain, pleasure and pain, but it was, it was just a, there was just some very hot scenes. I'm sitting in the editing room, this little tiny editing room watching this film with my business partner wow and and the editor and i'm like sweating i would know, be sweating like petting. Be <laughs> it, was like, it was very hot so so that's my zombie king think that's, story. that's why yeah. like the that is incredibly hot if would you say what who's right now a guy that you find extremely sexually attractive I mean, a lot, but like a celebrity. Oh, a celebrity. Huh. I don't, I don't know. I haven't really been watching many celebrities lately. Who, who's it? You got somebody in mind. I got someone in mind. Brad Pitt. Well, Brad's all, he's always going to be oh, hot. God. Yeah. Riding in that goddamn Legend of yeah. the Storm on his horse. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course. You could have a child with a younger woman. Yeah. Zandal, wait, what did it say? It's a very erotic old film with a young Nicolas Cage. Oh, I like Nicolas Cage. He okay. was hot. Love Red Diaries, says Paul. Red Shoe Diaries, yeah, those yeah. are good. All right. So right now, I would say, if you want to see some good, hot sex scenes, go to Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders. Peaky Blinders right now. Okay. Oh, my God. It's freaking hot. I'm I so do. pissed it's over right now. But Halle Berry, she's hot. Yeah. Do, do they speak any Spanish or only English? I, I, I only speak poquito Espanol, Luis. Yeah. Sorry. It's circling. It's circling. Would, would you date a guy with a six pack? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me think about that. Uh -oh, what are I you do. doing? I don't know what I do. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we should go to TikTok at some point. Oh, All right. Mamacita Chulas. What does that mean? Chulas means something not kosher. Um, Susan Sarandon looks incredible. Oh, I love Susan Sarandon. No, we're not going live with any of these people. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. What do we got? So, here? do we, do we want to? I can't really see. Red heels. We're talking red heels. Oh, Sailor Lily really loves loves our shows. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Do. You guys, we're trying to figure out what to do next. We want to make this show like an ongoing thing, but we don't want to continue to do it just like willy-nilly on Instagram because look at all the problems we've been having. So we got to come up with a good idea. Yeah. 
Should we write a book? Should we do a TV show? Yeah, what do you guys How about think? a movie? <laughs> I'm an erotic movie. We can do it. I, I, I get to die. Take a picture together. I would love. I would love to um, to direct. Oh yeah, I could see you directing. When they were when they started because they were starting to film Fifty Shades of Grey when I was doing my erotic film festival, and I wrote them a letter and I said, "You need me on your set." Yes, because you're going gonna, you're gonna to blow it. You're going to ruin it. I want to be there to help you make this film phenomenal. What celebrity would you have a one night stand with? Well, I just told you, Brad freaking Pitt. I wouldn't want just one night though. with Brad Pitt. You know, I think that's the thing is, I'm not a one night person. If I'm gonna, if I if I want, if I want to have that kind of time with you, I want to know you and love on you and experience you. You're like and, more into the romantic part of it. Well, yeah, because it, sex gets so much better with a little time invested. Yeah, that's true. You know? But, so. if that's all you get, with Brad Pitt, you gotta take it. But what about George Clooney? I always had a thing for George. Yeah, yeah but I don't know He was George. on my vision board for a while. What's a vision board? Like, it, I want to fuck? Vision no, board? it was, a, it was a, where you see your life in five years. And, I went, and what, George? George? George was on there. No, I thought I needed to do some work with Oh, okay. I don't. I didn't I know. Think you I think still should. Yeah, I need to work with George. I think she needs to work with George. What do you guys think, George or or, um, or Brad? Or Brad. George or Brad. What do you think? I mean, I think you Brad would pick. be more fun. Yeah, I used to think George, but now he's with a mom. It's kind of like mm, yeah, he's turned into a warm baby and a net bunny. I mean, it's, yeah, it's not as exciting. No, anymore. Brad. Brad's. I think Brad would Brad's be a nastier. bad boy. <laughs> Then he just got a little weird, you know. I have two. Okay, what do you, you guys? If you want to tell us your fantasies, All right. I have two different one night stands. One with Ava Green and another with Justin Timberlake. Oh, oh well, there you go. Brady, you are very uh, yeah. hip and happening here. With Justin Timberlake would probably be fun. What is this? Oh, oh no! What I do? How did that happen anyway? Because nope. Cancel. What I do? When, it's fine. It's fine. When are you guys going to be visiting the Tampa area? Who knows? Uh, Tampa. We I was in Tampa, and I got to tell you, there is a very, okay, now I forgot the name of the restaurant. It's a restaurant that has the most unbelievable wine ever. It's only in Tampa. So they got the biggest wine cellar ever. Do you guys know what I'm talking about from Tampa? What's it called? Um, hey, uh, oh, Jesus. What's going on? What, I thought, do you remember? Yeah. It's on this. So, um. Somebody wants to know if we should do a um, we should do a web based podcast. A web based podcast. I don't know. Yeah. Um, hmm. Ever had sex with a celebrity in real life? Sex with a celebrity in real life. Um, uh, that depends on what your definition of celebrity is. I did though. I would think I did. Huh. I, I do. Ferns, that's it. The wine cellar. Thank you. Oh, eclectic Burns Steakhouse. Burns Steakhouse. Yes, I was at Burns Steakhouse, and I saw their wine cellar. I should say it's like it goes on. They, they started with one like barber shop or something, and then they went to that the restaurant, and then they started taking over. And it's like this, and you, it's like three stories, and it's like the biggest wine collection in the world. It's like an amazing wine. Cellar. Did you go there, electric? electric Anyway, A list or B list celebrity? Um, it was. I'm gonna give you a hint. It was a sports player. Oh. And very famous sports player. That's all I'm gonna say. Make a TikTok video together. Um, we will. We will. I was gonna go on TikTok live for a minute after we're done here. Because I like TikTok. You have to teach me how to do TikTok. Oh, we're gonna do TikTok together. <laughs> well, It'll so be my first TikTok. I'm a virgin. Oh my gosh, she's a virgin TikToker. Let's yeah. do it right now. Yeah. All right, you guys, this has been fun. We've got to get off right now because we're about to do a virgin TikTok. We have to get uh, off. Unveiling. <laughs>
All right. Um, if you're not following either of us, start following us because we're going to be doing a lot of these things soon. As soon as we can. So Brian was no. I don't watch The Bachelor. I think it's degrading. Uh, I like The Bachelor, but yeah. uh, I don't like it because it's a waste of my time when I can be watching Peaky Blinders. Well, yeah. I mean, it's 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 um. I think it just. I don't like all the athletes, Brady. I just said I hit. I had a celebrity. I it was. I'm going to tell you there was one golfer and one tennis player. Oh. Okay. No, no football players as of yet. Yeah, yes, like, you never know. Who's that hottie? <laughs> There's some hotties. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you. I yeah. want inquiring All right, you young to know. <laughs> We're gonna go on TikTok. Follow us on TikTok. Tick, tick, tick. It's tick, 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 tick. And we love you guys. If you haven't already gone over to Exotic Lifestyle Events, follow Nancy there, and they follow her on uh, Dr. Nancy Sutton Pierce. If you want to get some um, coaching, we're gonna yep. do. We, we'd love to do some coaching at some point. Um, I'm Karen Lee, Holder everywhere, and that's about it. I know you were joking. We love you guys. Um, just whatever. Just keep um, spreading the love. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Till next time. Yeah. All, All right. right. Share it. Uh, we go. Bye. We'll find a good picture here.